If your PC has a CPU bottleneck and you're getting low FPS while gaming or poor performance overall, this video is for you. I will share a complete guide to optimize any low end PC or laptop. It will help you to fix CPU bottleneck issue. Be sure to watch the entire video. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. Guys, the main reason for CPU bottlenecking is power throttling. We need to disable power throttling on Windows. To do this, press Windows plus R on your keyboard and a window will pop up. Type gpedit.msc and hit OK. Navigate to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, Power Management. Open the Power Throttling Settings folder and double-click on Turn Off Power Throttling. Enable the setting, hit Apply, and click OK. Next, you need to download some applications to fix the bottlenecking issue. You can download these applications from my Discord server. Link is in the description. First, install Part Control. Once installed, Open it and go to CPU settings for power profile. Choose Bitsum High Performance Power Plan by clicking on it. Activate it and apply the power plan. For parking and frequency scaling, turn up the settings and set them to 100%. Hit apply, save the settings. Now in the next step, we are going to utilize the process lasso. So guys, simply double tap here and install this application. Once installed, open it. Here you will find out this kind of interface of the process lasso. So now in the very first step, you need to go for this main option. Now here we have selected the Bitsum high performance already on the PC. Now you need to go for this pro balance enable. Make sure to uncheck all these boxes from here. After that, now you need to guys launch the game in your background in which you want to fix the CPU bottlenecking or for your overall PC. So let me just launch my Fortnite. So guys, here we have launched Fortnite on our PC. So guys, now you need to open up the process lasso and keep Fortnite running in your background. Now you need to go for this active processes option. And there you will find out this Fortnite Eclant Win64 shipping.exe file. Now you need to go for this file. In the very first step, go for CPU priority and go for normal. If you are getting any kind of CPU bottlenecking, you need to guys set the settings onto normal. If you have set it on above normal or high, that will make it worse. So therefore guys, make sure to set it on normal or below normal. Therefore, you can get the lowest amount of CPU usage that will fix your CPU bottlenecking. So guys, set it on normal or below normal. After that, now you need to go for the CPU affinity, go for all. And now from here, you need to select all your CPU cores. After that, now you need to go for input and output, go for always and guys again set it onto normal. If you're getting CPU bottlenecking, now in the next step, you need to go for this more option. There you will find that hard throttle. So go for it, go for always, and set it on no throttle. After that, now you need to go for disable idle saver. And guys turn on the settings and disable the saving from your PC. Now you finally have the last step of the process lasso. So you need to guys find out here the CPU limiter option. So go inside CPU limiter. Now we are going to add a new rule in the process lasso. Like if our CPU hits 100%, that will automatically reduce the value. So guys, you need to go for this when CPU usage is 100%. You need to set it on 100 or set it on 98%. After that, go for for a period of one second. Now reduce this by one. You need to simply type here one. After that, go for for a period and set it onto one. After that, click onto the add rule button. And we add here this rule inside your process lasso. So CPU limiter, you can also guys read here this description. Once you have followed all the settings in the process lasso, now click on this close button and guys, process lasso will keep running in your background and help you to get the best performance and fix the CPU bottlenecking while you're gaming. Here we got our free gear up booster FPS boost. So double tap here and now here you will find that. Copy and search this link in the browser. You have to simply copy this link from here. Open up any browser, paste the link, search and download the gear up booster on your PC. Next, here you will find out extra 15 days free trial using this coupon code. So guys, one of the luckiest person can claim this code for free 15 days here you will find this kind of interface. So now, you need to go for your Fortnite or whatever game in which you want to optimize your ping. You can go to the Games tab, and here you will find thousands of games. So, you need to go to your Home tab, and you will find the installed game automatically. Now click on this Boost button, and guys, this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. So, guys, once you are connected with the Gear Up Booster, 
Here you will find out this kind of region and node. This will automatically find everything for you. You do not have to change anything from here. So, guys, click on this launch game button and make sure to launch your game after launching the gear booster. Next, adjust your system configurations. Press Windows plus R type MS config and press enter. Under the boot tab, go to advanced options. Check number of processors and set it to the maximum available on your PC. Hit OK, apply and restart. Disable the high precision event timer by right clicking the start menu and selecting device manager. Expand system devices. Locate high precision event timer. Right click it and choose disable device. Set your GPU to high performance. Right click the desktop. Go to display settings. Graphics settings and add your game under graphics performance preferences. Set it to high performance and save the settings. Now guys, go to advanced system settings. You will see the performance section where you want to hit settings. Here, you can adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance, or let Windows choose what's best for your computer, etc. This includes things like showing shadows under the mouse pointer, showing shadows under windows, showing thumbnails instead of icons, and other settings. I only have a few options turned on. These are the ones that I like. There are others that you can customize. If you see how I'm doing this on the standard setting, it's going to outline everything entirely. This is all for performance and smoothness. It's great for low end PCs. Next, hit the advanced tab where you choose how to allocate processor resources. Set it to adjust for best performance of programs. Make sure this is on programs as some computers default to background services. If you're playing a game or watching a stream, it will prioritize the primary program, allocating most resources to it. Here's a quick and easy tip for you. Open Task Manager. Go to the Services tab and scroll to the bottom. Look for Xbox Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox GRPS VC, and Xbox Net. If you're not using the Xbox control panel and most people don't, you can turn these off. If you use the Xbox game bar for capturing clips, it's better to disable that too. To turn them off, just right click each service and select stop. After you have done this, restart your PC once the video is over. These simple changes can improve your PC's performance, so give it a try. In the last step, we are going to disable or stop all startup applications. For that, Right click on your taskbar and open up the task manager. Go to startup apps and here you will find all the apps available on your PC. Sort it from high to low and disable all the applications you are not using. I have already disabled all the applications I am not using on my startup, but you can still use these applications later by manually starting them. Simply disable unused applications here and then close out of your task manager. Now you need to restart your PC one time for everything to take effect. So guys, that was today's video, hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Peace out.